Student debt is a huge issue in this country, so credit to Elizabeth Warren for putting forward this week a highly specific plan to tackle it. The problem is, those specifics are, how can we put this, somewhat loony. Elizabeth Warren's student debt relief plan is this week's loony left. <laughs> OK, here are the details. About 95% of Americans with student debt would get a relief of up to $50,000, depending on income. Warren says it would be cancelled completely for 75%. According to Warren, the plan has a price tag of $640 billion and would be paid for by an ultra-millionaire tax on the 75,000 families with $50 million or more in wealth. So there are two very big flaws in this plan, to say the least. The first is this money she keeps talking about, the, the ultra-wealth tax, she's spending that over and over again. I mean, almost every single promise that costs money is going to be funded by that one tax. And then secondly, this particular thing is not even that progressive. This doesn't actually help working Americans barely at all. I mean, this is a comment from the new, David Leonhardt in the New York Times. He's talking about Warren would wipe out debt for anyone making less than 100000 which means that a 24-year-old in Silicon Valley making $90,000 and on a path to earn more could get a windfall. Uh, make tuition free at every public college, including those with overwhelmingly upper income students. So she's taking from the, even if you believe her plan, she's taking from the very, very richest to give to the pretty well off. Well, it might be worth it if you could have a grand bargain where it got the federal government out of subsidizing higher ed completely, which Bingo. is 100, 100 billion plus a year. Right. So it would pay for itself in about 10 years, right? Uh, but no, I mean, it's really crazy. And, and the idea that with the amount of debt we have, long-term debt right now, that we'd saddle ourselves with more, I mean, it, it's kind of nuts. Well, why should I, and I'm only 26 years old, by the way, but why should I and other taxpayers be burdened with paying for someone's women's studies degree or their philosophy degree or whatever degree they have that's not going to turn into an actual job and actual income? Why should that be burdened upon the taxpayers? Yes, yes student debt is an issue, but if you want to, exactly what you said, if you want to eliminate that, you get the government out of the student loan business, you force colleges to compete with one another, therefore driving down the cost, because colleges have no incentive to lower their tuition. They make it as high and high and high because they know it's going to be forgiven by the federal government. You're going to have Elizabeth Warren saying, we'll just tax the, the millionaires and the billionaires. And the colleges are like, great, just keep racking up the, the tuition dollars. They're the ones that are winning this through this. Children are not winning at all. Parents are not winning at all. Students are not winning at all. It's the government that's winning by coming in and being the savior. And it's the colleges who have that's inflated what, prices. This is really well put. That, that is the, the problem at the heart of it. And her thing makes it worse. Doesn't help. Yeah, I'm, I'm always so sick of the Democrat talk about fair share. I mean, why should why should we equate a, a student who puts off college or trade school for a couple of years, goes to work, saves up their money, and then pays for their education outright with, you know, some upper middle class kid who's had everything handed to him. He goes, he gets his degree in women's studies because, hey, maybe that'll get him late or whatever. And then, <laughs> <laughs> sorry, see you. <laughs> well, I mean, why sorry? No, I don't. <laughs> Not to make any, cast any aspersions. Hey, thank you very but, much. Okay. But, you know, then he racks up $100,000 in debt and spends half of it on a new car an apartment in West Hollywood, those two people aren't the same. But yet, why would the upper middle class kid get his debt forgiven and the kid that worked his butt off to do things the right exactly. way, it just, you know, that's not, there's no fair share there. That's exactly right. And part of the problem is we've nationalized the student debt market. Yeah. If you could, uh, uh, yeah. yeah, and part of, I mean, if you get part of this grand bargain, whatever it may be, probably mm -hmm. not Elizabeth Warren's plan, but getting some skin in the game and making the colleges liable, especially the richer ones, for yeah. part of the debt, part of the debt that they force and their and students to take on. There are, there are, there are some interesting start, business startup in the private sector actually doing that, mm -hmm. really tying the outcome to what you pay so that there's an incentive not to do those ridiculous courses that don't get you anywhere, but actually something that is of real benefit and more practical and vocational and all the rest of it. All right, I think we have better leave it there.